This is Patrick Mahomes. And the Kansas City Chiefs are arguably the best team in the NFL right now. But I mean, the only problem with that is they don't have any wide receivers. So I mean, today we went ahead and fixed that problem. This is what the defense is looking like. I mean, they're probably the most mid defense in the league. But as you can see, this offense is absolutely beautiful. I mean, just take a look at our wide receivers. We got Tyree Kill at the first string, Cooper Cup at the second string, Justin Jefferson is our third string, and Jamar Chase is our fourth string. And then we go over over to tight end we got travis kelsey as our first string and george kittle as our second string and even the running backs are stacked we got nick chubb as our first string joe mixon as our second string and isaiah pacheco as our third string and i mean considering patrick mahomes won a super bowl with just juju and kelsey this team's probably gonna win a super bowl every year i mean we got every weapon in the nfl on this team right now again to keep it fair i didn't change the defense so that's gonna be our little problem area but anyways we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs and i mean to be honest with you i don't know what defense is gonna be able to stop this offense that we have and as you can see we're gonna go 17 and 0 to win the division which is obviously gonna give us the number one seed in the playoffs i mean i knew this team was good but i didn't think we were gonna go 17 and 0 right out of the gate i mean that is crazy we play the colts in the first round and we should be able to absolutely absolutely clap them and as expected the colts got absolutely packed so now we play the ravens for a trip to the super bowl i mean we all know lamar jackson's not an easy task especially in the playoffs and even though this defense probably won't be able to hold him we have every single weapon in the league on this offense so we should be able to absolutely clap them like i need you guys to just put into perspective that george kittle is our second string tight end and jamar chase is our four string wide receiver i mean that tells you enough travis kelsey open that's a first and some that's a huge gain i'm just gonna run another tight end play because he seemed to be working nicely right now i mean one more play and we should be in the end zone i'm not gonna lie this offense is so fun to use like again it doesn't matter who i throw the ball to they are like one of the best players in the league so travis kelsey's gonna get a touchdown which gives us the lead and now it's time to sim honestly i got no fear i, I know lamar is gonna clap this defense as you can see but the way this offense is built there's no way we lose this game and as you can see in the fourth quarter this game is definitely getting away from lamar i mean there's no way he comes back at this point they are getting absolutely toasted so that's an easy win as expected i mean i really didn't think we would lose to the ravens so i mean i definitely say that's a hot start one season in and we're going to the super bowl and i mean not to mention we're literally one game away from going 20 and 0 and as you can see we're going to be playing the falcons in the super bowl i have no idea how they made it this far but we all see what the falcons have done in the super bowl so we should be able to win this game no problem and as expected we're gonna win mvp and coach of the year i mean we went 17 and 0 so that's reasonable i mean again this defense is super mid so the falcons <gasps> scored first but i mean you guys seen this offense they should be able to put the falcons in their place real quickly here i'm gonna try and hit nick chubb that's a nice pickup nasty stiff arm too we'll get the first i know there's a lot of you are probably wondering why i pick nick chubb over derrick henry at this point after last season nick chubb is better than derrick henry he has a higher overall too watch that hurdle by the way that was sick that's another first down 13 yards to go i mean the falcons actually have a pretty good defense here which is hard to realize just because how good this offense is i mean they're not even putting up a fight that's gonna be a touchdown from tyreek so we're gonna tie this game up as expected and now it's time to sim and yeah again there's no way we lose this game i mean we're losing in the fourth quarter though so madden's kind of bugging i mean our, our defense needs to step up that's what's happening they're not really doing a whole lot we're gonna take the we are down with three seconds to go. The Falcons are about to win this game. What did I just witness? We had a 99 overall offense and we were one win away from going 20 and 0 and out of all teams we could have possibly lost to. I mean, we just played the Ravens, but then we go ahead and lose to the Falcons in the Super Bowl. Oh, uh, what are we doing, man? I actually don't understand it. Someone who's working at EA actually has to be a Falcons fan because they are not this good. Again, I can't believe I'm saying this, but year one is going to end with the Atlanta Falcons hoisting the Lombardi trophy. Madden is absolutely 
absolutely broken. I actually can't believe that season ended like that. I mean, again, the Atlanta Falcons are not a good team whatsoever right now. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number two. I'm not even going to bother showing you guys the roster, though. I mean, it's not going to change. We still have the exact same team. 99 overall offense, 84 overall defense. I mean, the only way you can escape is if you retire, because I got salary cap turned off. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and sim to the playoffs again. And I mean, we're definitely going to make it. I just hope we don't lose to another team like Atlanta in the Super Bowl or something. As you guys can see, we have to go ahead and shut the curtains because it's getting a bit sunny in here, you know. Didn't want to get an inside the house sunburn, if that's even possible. But anyways, once again, we're going to go 17-0 to win the division, which is obviously going to give us the number one seed in the playoffs. And it looks like we got a rematch against the Ravens in the divisional round. I mean, we beat them last time, so hopefully we can clap them again. And as you can see, the Ravens got absolutely decimated. So now we played a bang for a trip to the Super Bowl. I mean, Patrick Mahomes always seems to have trouble with Joe Burrow in real life, but at the same time, Patrick Mahomes does not have an offense like this in real life, so hopefully we can absolutely destroy them. I mean, that's a massive pickup to start off the game from Jefferson. I mean, again, we have pretty much every team's best player on this offense right now. If Patrick Mahomes had just one of them, he probably win every game of the season. That's gonna be another first down. We all seen how dangerous Mahomes and Tyreek were as a duo, and I mean, even though last year he just had Kelsey, he still went off. That's going to be a touchdown from George Kittle, though. I mean, that's probably not his first touchdown as a Chief, but that's the first one we're going to get with George Kittle. So that's going to give us the lead. We're up 6-0. I am a bit scared to sim just because we're playing the Bengals. And as you can see in the fourth quarter, we're, we got a nice little lead, but this game's still a lot closer than I would like it to be. But we're going to get the win, as we should. So we're going to be going to the Super Bowl for the second season in a row. And as you can see, we got a Super Super Bowl rematch against the Eagles here. This should actually be a pretty good game because we all know Jalen Hurts is built different. And I'm expecting that we got MVP again. We did. And Matt Rule won coach of the year. What is that? We came third place in the votings, losing to a guy that got fired because he can't coach a football team. Matt never ceases to amaze me, but we're just going to put that behind us and pretend that it never happened. I'm going to try and hit Jefferson right out of the gate here. I mean, our defense did a terrible job at setting us up we have some terrible field position to start this game off but that's gonna be a first down i'm just thinking like if this was an actual team in real life i don't know who would be able to beat them that's another first let's go cup okay i feel like if i let that last play go a bit longer that could have been a touchdown but either way that's a lot of yardage we're gonna get another first down of jefferson we need 27 yards for a touchdown which is quite a bit on one play but i mean i'm gonna hit george kittle this gave us a touchdown last time i don't think that's gonna happen here but we're gonna get the feet down so i mean five yards to go and we're in words cannot even explain how fun this team is i mean literally any i can throw the ball to anyone and they're guaranteed to catch it that's a touchdown from cooper cup so we're gonna get on the board first here i mean i gotta say i am a bit nervous to sim again because we lost to the falcons last time and the eagles are 10 times better than the falcons so they may beat us actually never mind well this game is not even close are you kidding me bro i, I will take that i'm not not upset but i don't understand how we can beat the eagles that badly but still lose to the falcons but anyways at least we got a super bowl now that should have happened last season if we won the super bowl last year we would be 40 and 0 right now but i mean we're still 39 and 1 in this video which is insane but as you can see year number two we're finally gonna get the lombardi trophy that we should have got last year but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number three we have not lost a single regular season game yet i'd like to keep it that way but i mean at this point you guys know the drill we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs and see what's up and as you can see for the third season in a row we're gonna go 17 and 0 to win the division and once again we're gonna get the number one seed in the playoffs this is kind of starting to become a trend and as you can see we're gonna be taking on the jaguars in the first round i mean they have a good defense so this is probably gonna be a good game but i can tell you right now that defense is not matching up with this offense i mean as you can see the jaguars got absolutely smoked so now we play the steelers for a trip to the Super Bowl. I mean, the Steelers are another one of those teams that gets carried by their defense, but again, they're definitely not going to be able to match up with this offense. As you can see, Jefferson's going to start this game off with a bang. I'm telling you, bro, if you guys are bored and just looking for something to do, give Mahomes as many weapons as you can and you will have an absolute blast. That's another first down. Like, again, it doesn't matter who I throw the ball to. They have a 100% chance at catching it. That's going to be a touchdown from Nick 
chub. So we're gonna take the lead first here, just like pretty much every single game. But now it's time to sim again. The Steelers have a good defense, but we should be able to cook them. As you can see in the fourth quarter, we're up by 10. Okay, we have a nice little lead now. I don't think the Steelers are gonna be able to come back. We're getting all of our scoring done in the fourth quarter. So that's gonna be another win. Um, We're going to the Super Bowl for the third season in a row. This is another thing that's becoming a trend. As you can see, we're gonna be taking on the Packers in the Super Bowl this year. A lot of you Packers fans are gonna hate to hear this and probably gonna hate to see this, but Jordan Love stands no chance against what I've built on this offense. And once again, we're gonna get MVP and Matt Rule won coach of the year again. Bro, what is happening? I actually can't believe this. The guy that got fired from the Carolina Panthers for not being able to coach a football team has won more coaches of the year than we have. That is brutal. I mean, we literally have not lost a single regular season game yet. But anyways, I mean, if we can win this game here, which we should be able to do, we will literally be 59 and one in this video, which is insane. I just got to make sure we get a touchdown on this drive, which really has not been a problem at all today. We have been getting touchdowns every single drive so far, and that's going to be another one. You cannot leave Jefferson that wide open. Come on now. So once again, we're going to take the lead here, and now it's time to sim. I am a bit worried about this defense, but I mean, again, we have not lost a single game this season. But as you can see, we have a pretty close game in the fourth quarter. And again, just like last game, we're kind of getting all of our scoring done right now, which is good. So we're going to win another Super Bowl. That's back-to-back -back season, so we have won two Super Bowls now. And we are now 59 and one in this video. That is the record. That is absolutely insane. I mean, we should be 60 and 0, but someone that's working for EA is a Falcons fan, so we kinda just gotta stomach that one. But anyways, for the second season in a row, Patrick Mahomes and this stacked offense are gonna be hoisting another Lombardi trophy. But anyways, that's gonna bring us to year number four, which is gonna be the final season of this video. And just in case you guys forgot, this is what our 99 overall offense is looking like they're still crazy and i mean on the other hand the defense has actually progressed a bit too so they're a lot better than they were at the start of this video but for the final time we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs and i mean there's no chance that we miss out i mean we have not lost a single regular season game yet but as you can see we're gonna end up finishing with our worst record yet which is 16 and 1 so we still won the division and for the fourth season in a row we're gonna get the number one seed in the playoffs we were this close to go Going undefeated in the regular season this video but we're gonna lose a game which kind of sucks but i mean 16 and 1 is still a ridiculous record and we got played the texans in the first round there's no way that we lose to houston and as you can see we're gonna get the win so now we have to play josh allen and the bills for a trip to the super bowl i mean bills and chiefs is always a good game so this one's probably gonna be tight because i mean our defense is good but i don't know if they're gonna be able to stop josh allen and stefan diggs because that duo is crazy Crazy. Let's go Kittle. That's a huge pickup. I mean, as good as the Bills defense is, they're not going to be able to stop this offense. I can tell you that right now. That looked like an interception. That would have been perfect timing, but Jefferson got the ball, so four yards to go. As long as we don't mess this play up, which I cannot see happening, we should have an easy touchdown. Cooper Cup's wide open. There's no way he's dropping that, so we're going to get in for the touchdown. Now it's time to sim. I mean, we've only lost one playoff game this whole video, and it was in the Super Bowl to the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons. And as expected, the Bills defense stands no chance against this offense. I mean, it's only a 10 point game, but we're going to score again. So that's pretty much going to do it. So that was a seven point game. Damn, they scored again. That was actually pretty close. Josh Allen put up a fight as I expected. But again, we're going back to the Super Bowl for the third season in a row, uh, the fourth season in a row. And it looks like we're going to be taking on the commanders this time. They have an 89 overall defense and we got to worry about Chase Young. So, I mean, this might be a very tough game game for us but for the fourth season in a row we're gonna get mvp and dan campbell won coach of the year i don't understand it man i mean that makes more sense than matt rule but we went 17 and 0 three seasons in a row and this season we went 16 and 1 yet we've only won one coach of the year which is absolutely busted again washington has a good defense but obviously we have a good offense travis kelsey's looking wide open nobody is near this man can i get a hurdle yes sir that might be a touchdown this is kittle by the way i kind of just realized that we're gonna get caught at the 27 but i mean if we can find a way to win this game that will be three years in a row of us 
Mixon's winning the Super Bowl. That's a first down from Jefferson. I haven't really used Joe Mixon at all yet, so I'm just gonna try and get him in with a run here. If we can get some blocks, and we will. I mean, our O-line is 99 overall, so that's pretty easy. Once again, we're gonna take the lead here, and I mean, honestly, Washington has a good defense, but their offense is nothing special, so we should be able to cook them. As you can see in the fourth quarter, Washington's like actually putting up a fight right now. We might lose this game. Our defense has to stop giving the ball up. If we score here, that's it. That's probably going to do it. Come on, let's go. Okay. That was getting scary near the end there. I mean, Washington had the lead for the first three quarters, and then once again, we did our thing in the fourth quarter and took the dub. So, I mean, that's going to be three years in a row of us winning the Super Bowl, which is absolutely wild. I mean, throughout this whole video, we lost a total of two games, which is wild. But anyways, for the third season in a row, we're going to be hoisting another Lombardi trophy. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helped out the channel. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, you might as well comment the most random thing you can think of so that we can confuse everybody in the comment section. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.